you just received an info dump on the latest ISC on the upcoming distribution centers. Here's what you need to know. These distribution centers serve as a microcosm of the entire FPS experience. A distribution center is essentially a massive hub owned by organizations for distributing goods, including commodities and manufactured items. These hubs are busted in locations on the ground, ripe with activities, but also susceptible to player-induced chaos. Players can engage in a plethora of activities within distribution centers, ranging from delivery missions to combat, theft, and more. The goal is to provide the players with a diverse array of gameplay experiences, ensuring that no two visits to a distribution center are alike. In the upcoming Alpha 3.23 release, multiple distribution centers will be scattered throughout Stantic, each owned by different brands. Some centers will be friendly to players, while others will pose hostile threats. Players will have access to various areas within these centers, including landing pads, hangars, cargo freight elevators, lobbies, sleeping quarters, kitchens, VIP spaces, maintenance areas, and more. It's really interesting that there's so much places that we can go to at these locations. It's really exciting stuff. These spaces will host a wide range of missions, both inside and outside these centers. Missions within distribution centers will cater to different playstyles, including aggressive, lawful, and unlawful approaches. Aggressive players may partake in defending centers from attacks or launching assaults on them, while lawful players may engage in delivery missions. Unlawful players may undertake theft missions, sneaking into centers to acquire goods illegally. Each approach offers its own set of challenges and rewards, encouraging players to choose their preferred playstyle. Distribution centers will also feature security measures such as armed guards, turrets, making aggressive actions riskier. However, players who successfully navigate these challenges can reap significant rewards. Additionally, distribution centers aim to foster players' interactions and emerging gameplay with dynamic events unfolding when players engage with the environment and each other. Looking ahead, the development of these UV centers will continue beyond the initial release of Stars in Alpha 3.23 with plans for more variety and features in future updates. Eventually, raid gameplay will be introduced, providing players with endgame challenges and opportunities for cooperative play. The raids are going to be very massive. It's one of the things I'm really looking forward to as well. But even the very first implementation of distribution centers is going to be a game changer for just content, really. Star Citizen gameplay is going to have a massive facelift and distribution centers are going to be a huge contributor of that. This is some exciting times. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.